Hi, this is Jenny from CraftTestDummies.com and I'm here with another craft room confessional. Today, I'm letting you know I'm a bag lady. Okay, so what this means is that I go out and buy things. Often I'll take little field trips with my mom and I'll come home with a brand new bag of craft goodies. And then I get busy and oh my gosh, I have a review due or the kids have to go somewhere and so I put it, you know, somewhere, like over there. And then I have a project due and oh my gosh, I have to go to the craft store. And so I go shopping and I buy some more stuff. And it's stuff that I really need and maybe I finished my project. and. But I always buy like a few extra little goodies, but then um, because, oh my gosh, I have something else to do. And so then it goes in a pile over there. And then I have to go get something else. And oh my goodness. And oh yeah, I went shopping again. And I had to get something and I got what I needed. But then I picked up a few extra things. But then there are other things that I forget that I buy. So I am not exactly sure if I'm the only person in the world with this problem. Um, obviously it means that I need to stop spending money because I have too much stuff. But I think it also means that what I need to do is kind of inventory some of the things that I'm bringing in. I buy really great stuff with every intention of using it, but then it just kind of gets lost in the shuffle of whatever I have to do right now. So my new goal uh, is to, when I go shopping, um, to make just a little list and then stick it up on my craft room wall so that I can remember, oh my gosh, I bought all of these cool wood burning stuffs and I need to take time to review them and use them and enjoy them. Because crafts, my friends, do not belong in bags. They belong on your table, strewn about, and being used. So that's my confessional for today. Let me know if you suffer from the same bag lady affliction and I wanna know where you store your bags. I know that some ladies even resort to keeping them in the trunk of their car. So spill your dirty secrets. I'd love to know where you keep your hidden stash and if you've ever bought like multiples of something because you forgot that you had it. So let me know. I'm, lo I'm looking forward to hearing your craft room confessionals and thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it entertaining and I would love it if you subscribed to the channel. Thanks so much and have a crafty day. Looking forward to listening to you. Have a crafty day.